September of 2010, I was in Kunduz, Afghanistan. I was on a mission with 10th Mountain. I was tasked with clearing a hilltop for landmines. I was uh, clearing it with my teammate and I was on the corner of the hilltop when I stepped on a landmine. When I kind of got oriented back to where I was, I noticed that I was missing my left foot. When I got to Bethesda, I found out that I was missing my heel on my right foot. Um, the doctors gave me a 50-50 chance of walking pain-free on my right foot, and they would have to do bone grafts and skin grafts and muscle grafts to make a heel for me. And they said, even then, it might not you know, hold up. Uh, so. I opted to have my right leg amputated right away. That way my recovery time and stuff was a lot uh, faster. My daughter was born 12 days before I got hurt. So my whole reasoning behind getting back and getting up and walking was to beat my daughter to walking. So that was kind of basing my recovery and that's why I progressed a lot faster through my recovery. I, mean, I have to switch out to my running legs now to actually keep up with her. <laughs> I'm still the same person. I do the same stuff I did before I got hurt, and I'm gonna continue doing the same stuff I did before I got hurt. Warrior Games is bringing people with the same injuries or like injuries with you that can help you with your process of recovery, mentally and physically. It's given me a competitive uh, spirit, I guess. You know, getting back, competing again in sports. I mean, just training constantly keeps you in shape. And with my um, amputations and my disability, um, you know, I'm going to have to be in shape pretty much the rest of my life to help me with my day-to-day -day, um, routines.